Hey kids. Well, today we're going to be, and this week, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is honeybees. Uh, we showed you some honeybees on the flowers last time, and we showed you the hives, and um, we're going to get into them this week and hopefully find some cool things, and we're going to harvest some honey. What I have for you right now is um, an empty beehive. There aren't any bees in here. And uh, it's not empty, actually. I just, I'll show you what I've got in here. So uh, I thought a good introduction might be just to talk about the equipment that a beekeeper needs. Um, the bees live in uh, a box or boxes like this when a beekeeper keeps them. And you can stack them up according to how much honey they make and how, how many bees are in there. These are called supers. Um, and in nature, of course, the bees don't build supers, um, they look for a, a nice hollow, like maybe a, a, a dead tree or a tree that's got a hollow place in its, in its trunk. Any, any warm, uh, any, any place that is uh, protected from the elements, because honeybees, unlike every other uh, pollinating insect, um, they live through the winter, and so they've got to have a snug, warm place. Um, that they can uh, survive when it gets cold. Here it is, the lid. That's the first thing that you have to attempt. Well, the first thing I need to show you is this and this. Um, this is called a smoker. And every beekeeper needs a smoker. For some reason, when you put some, some I usually put cardboard or pine needles. Anyway, you light it up make smoke come out here by squeezing this bellows and um, tomorrow you'll see it, the smoker actually at work but we're just pretending right now um, and you blow a little smoke in the entrance to the beehive here's the entrance if you can imagine bees coming and going um, and for some reason nobody understands why it tends to calm the bees makes them much less likely to sting you uh, the bees are less likely to sting me with my smoker but they might so I have some protective equipment here. I'm not going to put it on because it's really hot. And in fact, usually when I work the bees, I just have these things handy in case I need them. And then if they start uh, acting like they're not happy with me, then I'll put them on. Um, but anyway, gloves and uh, hat and the veil. I'll tell you what, I'll model this for you just so you can. Bees can't get in here. Sometimes they do, but usually they don't. But if a bee gets in here, it's very unnerving. They're, they're usually they're just trying to get out, but they're buzzing around here, and maybe they're crawling on your face, and you're like, oh. So we've blown the smoke, and then we very gently, you always got to move gently and slow and easy with the bees. No sudden jerky movements, because you don't want to annoy them. Bring me to the subject of why do bees have stingers anyway? Why did nature give bees a, these stingers? Well, I'm going to show you the reason in a minute when I open this up. Uh, this is the inner cover for their protection from the elements. And um, the reason I have this tool, this is called a hive tool, is the bees will stick everything together with this glue they make. It's called propolis. And uh, here's some right here. That stuff is very sticky. They, some, if you don't have this tool, these two boxes will be glued shut and you could not lift one off the other without something to pry them apart. Um, so anyway, you pry open the inner cover and then inside we have frames. Uh, there are no bees in here right now. Uh, this is the uh, super of honey that I harvested earlier and this is what we're going to be extracting later in the week. Um, so I'm just going to pull up a frame here and show you what a frame looks like. Um, so, what's this stuff here? These, these little cells, what are they made of? What do bees make their, their cells out of? We showed you paper wasps uh, a while ago. Was it last week? Yeah. They, make, they chew up leaves and make... This is not from chewed up leaves. What do you think it is? Anybody know? It's wax. Yeah, bees secrete wax from their own bodies and then they shape it with their mouths and their, and their um, mandibles 
into these beautiful, beautiful geometric cells. And then they fill those cells up with honey, with nectar, actually. It's the difference between honey and nectar. And then they, when it's done, they cover it up with a seal, with a coat of wax, sort of seal it off. And that will keep for a long, long time. Honey doesn't go bad. Supposedly, and I find this hard to believe, but supposedly they have found capped honeycomb in the tombs of the uh, pharaohs in Egypt, and it's still good. Anyway, that might be an exaggeration, but honey keeps a long, long time. So, back to my question, why do bees sting? If bees didn't have stingers, there are so many animals that would love to get this, and all of their hard work, work would be for naught, because bears or other insects or people <laughs> or um, if it was possums, what if possums eat honey? I bet, I bet they would. A whole bunch of animals would love to get this stuff. It is pure energy. Well, it is from the plants, which got it from the sun. And uh, so they sting to protect not themselves, but their home and their very valuable food. But for now, we're going to pretend to go deeper into the hive, and we're going to lift this up. See, look at that stuck. That's the propolis working there. I got to pry it loose. So what I have here is empty down in here, but in a, in a, a working beehive, this is where the queen would be laying her eggs um, if we had this on here. This is called a queen excluder. Which brings me to the subject of different kinds of bees. Honeybees, there's three kinds. Okay, you ready? Kind number one, the queen. She's a female, there's only one. And her job is to lay the eggs that will be the future of the colony. And she's bigger than the other ones. So she can't fit through these slots. So if you want to know where to keep your queen confined to a particular area, you put this queen excluder here, and she can't get up and come and go. The other bees can. Um, kind of bee number two, the workers. Most of the bees in the hive, and all of the bees that you see out on the flowers and in the fields are worker bees. And they are also female, like the queen. And um, they do all the work. Kind of bee number three, the drones. So can you guess what gender the drones are? Got to have guys, right? You can't just have all females. Yeah, the drones are male. And what is their job? Well, they don't do much. Basically, they lounge around the hive and just hang out and they don't even feed themselves they don't go gather nectar the worker bees bring them food they have just a great life you know just hanging out uh, they do have one important job and that is to mate with the queen and that enables her to lay eggs that will make more workers but in the fall when their job is done and there's no more mating of queen necessary. You know what happens to the drones? Well, the workers kick them out of the hive. If you watch in the fall, you can see drones trying to get back in the hive and workers just dragging them out, dragging them out, dragging them out. Uh, they're just an extra mouth to feed in the winter. They're not needed. And so they are left to freeze and starve. In the winter. Nature can be pretty cruel. Why do bees have stingers anyway? Why did nature give bees have stingers? Honeybees, three kinds. Okay, you ready? Thank you.